Living the Lavidian Loca. <laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hello, all you beautiful book people glowing with the suns of a million suns. Uh, I've, uh, you may recall I did a uh, unboxing recently of a McCammon book, King of Shadows. Well, Lavidian's like, you know what? I know I just sent you a hardcover book. How about five trade paperbacks? Okay. And I'm like, okay, you know, just bam. Bought in February, bam, out the door to here. Before we get to the reading and the unboxing, we need to check in with the Magic Duff Bucket. This is protocol. What have you got for me today, Duff the Magic Bucket? <laughs> a bag of rips. You know I love the rips. Oh, you thought only liquid could come out of the bucket? Sometimes liquid goes into the bucket. But today, the rips came out, and um, I love rips. I love the sourest of sour candies. And uh, I, I, okay, I don't have a Rapture Brew, you know, so that I had to work with what I had. I, I just came back from the dollar store, and these were at the dollar store. I know what you're thinking. Sun Tup collectors do not shop at the dollar store. Well, you do. If you're me. So let's get, ah, ha, ha. I'm not going to open these and eat these because I know you cannot handle a book after eating the rips so this is a this is special jeff time candy funny story about this box it it came in a bag and i don't think this is an assassination attempt it's not that the delivery guy was trying to suffocate the books um he pulled up and i saw him because we have surveillance around uh Le terry bowl mansion and um he came up our driveway, he parked, and then he was coming out and he was walking up our walkway. We have an extensive walkway. There's a lot involved, but the the guy started walking up our walkway and he was like looking around. He brushed a tree and he was jumping at the tree and he kept looking around like somebody was hunting him. I, I, didn't, I didn't understand what was going on. This is UPS. This is not a normal male uh, postal carrier who's... Uh, two different people. We usually have two different people, and they're awesome. They're awesome. Our, our post office people are awesome, both of them. But anyway, this is the UPS driver who I've never seen before, and he's freaking out. I'm like, is somebody hunting you? Like, I, I know that times are tough, but I don't think we're hunting humans yet. And if we are, please let me know, you know, because it's just something I need to know. Beef Daddy is a source of beef and I don't want to be hunted for my delicious man meat. So he's freaking out. And then I see the truck pull away. I'm like, well, where's my books, man? Cause I knew they were coming. I have surveillance, you know? So I go outside onto the porch to see the books aren't there. So I, I turn and I go down the steps and I'm about to go down the steps and there's a huge spider web spanning my entire porch. And this guy must have just been like, saw that and backed away, went way back the other way. And he put this uh, in front of my garage door and he wrapped it in plastic to protect it because it was raining. So I'm like, that's very considerate. I'm sorry I frightened you, uh, you know, arachnophobe, whatever. Uh, but I appreciate him doing the doing the protection of the book so that was really great and i, I would apologize to the guy i these, these spiders man out here in the sticks they build webs every night every single night there's a new web i don't know if they're trying to catch humans but they keep getting my face and i think what they do what i what i like to do is i like to roll around in the webs so the spiders eat the ticks that are affixed to my body because every night, every night, I have at least 20 ticks. I took my shirt off to take a shower once, and instead of nipples, I had ticks. So let's get, let's start the unboxing with an unbagging. And oh, Matthew Corbett can breathe. So yeah, this is the series minus uh, 
the second book in the series. So I have Speaks the Nightbird. And the second book in the series is Queen of Bedlam. Queen of Bedlam. It's Bedlam. I know. Bedlam. And um, I don't have that book. And I've never read that book. I've only read Speaks the Nightbird. So I can't jump into this series and read these five books and then read King of Shadows and then read the Matthew Corbett collection and the final book, uh, nine or eight or whatever it is, until until I get Queen of Bedlam. Oh, it's got to be annoying. So I'm on, I'm on my journey. My daughter loves that phrase. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. So I'm going to work that in as much as I can. Enjoy the journey. So five paperbacks of the Matthew Corbett series. And the first one, Mr. Slaughter, is signed by Robert McCammon, who is not Stephen King. So finger hole being used for this one. Robert McCammon, Mr. Slaughter. This is the only one with a signature page, signed by, signed by the man. Very cool. Now, I've only, like I said, read uh, Speaks the Nightbird, so I'm very excited uh, to read the rest because Speaks the Nightbird is a two-volume paperback. And it's historical fiction. Not not something I normally read, right? But I really liked it. So I have total faith and trust that these books will be to my liking as well. Now, these don't have the interior artwork um, that uh, King of Shadows had. But it, they do feature dust jacket art by Vincent Chong, who's fantastic. Up next in this set is The Providence Rider. With this individual with no face. Somehow, I'm sure this individual plays a, a prominent role. A thinner book, The River of Souls. Very cool. Yeah, I, I mean, these are very nice trade paperbacks. Very well done and very inexpensive for all five books. It was about $19.99 each. A thicker book, Freedom of the Mask. Now, these are all hardcover editions from Subterranean Press, which would probably be hard to track down. So, I don't think... Or, maybe not hard to track down, but expensive once you do. So, I wasn't about to do that. I love me Robert McCammon, but I also love me some food and shelter. So going to stick with these. And I, I think Brian James Freeman did a bang-up job. And then finally, Cardinal Black, which is an outstanding SST edition. If you want it in limited edition form, I think you can find it. SST knocked it out of the park. Did an incredible job with Cardinal Black. So if, if I was to get any of them, that's the one I would get. I would hunt out the SST edition of cardinal black uh well worth getting don't know if there are any at the source at uh sst i don't think there are but sst is one of my five approved publishers <laughs> yes you need my approval and i put a link to their site in the description it's my evergreen description so it's in there definitely check it out if you are interested in um Robert McCammon, SST does a great job with his stuff as well. Now, I don't know if SST is going to do King of Shadows. I would hope so. I'd like to see the people who get the hardcovers um, from SST get a more complete set. But I think SST has only done Cardinal Black. So you're not going to get the other books in the series. You're never going to get a complete Matthew Corbett series based on what SST has done already. Um, who knows? Maybe SST will do the rest of the set. I don't know. That'd be really cool if he did, if Paul Fry did. So, um, Cardinal Black. Anyway, 
I will say I was a little surprised that the books were in here without a, a bag around them. Um, they they arrived in in perfect shape, so it wasn't what there was no issue involved. But I was a little surprised. I was expecting shrink, each one would be shrink wrapped, or there'd be a wrap around all five. No, I'm not complaining though. I'm just saying. Just saying, I think Brian James Freeman does an incredibly um, thorough job following with the form-fitted foam. And and he does the four-hole form-fitted foam, which is like a tongue twister. So what's nice is that I have this set. I just need Queen of Bedlam. And I'm going to put them on the shelf next to the hardcovers, which is breaking my own laws. Like, I never put paperbacks usually you'll see some exceptions on my shelves but i usually like to just have hard covers i just like hard covers and I, I want them all but these are worthy paperbacks and fun thing is uh brian james freeman also did arcs of these paperbacks and sent them out which I'd imagine the arcs are almost identical in every way to the paperbacks, except they probably say advanced reader copy or advanced review copy on the cover. And they wouldn't have the signature page in Mr. Slaughter. So that, that's kind of funny. Um, a quirky little thing to have. Arcs for trade paperbacks. So, But they, they look beautiful. And I'm very, very happy to have them. And you should follow Levidian. Again, link in the description. I don't know if there are any more available of the trade paperback set. $99 for the bundle. And one of them is signed by McCammon. Very nice uniform looking items on the shelf as well. That If that tickles your collection fancy. Do you have a collection fancy? So, that's it. Um, I'm 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 going to leave. I'm gonna well, I'm gonna shut the camera off, but I'm gonna stay. Uh, I I hope everything's cool wherever you're at. So, um, go check out these publishers, man. Uh, check out Robert McCammon's historical fiction stuff. It's a lot of good stuff. And look at me scratching my ticks. Scratching my ticks. <clears throat> But until next time, my friends, no matter what life throws at you, enjoy the journey and stay frosty.